Alright, so what's going on guys? It's Kai from CRH Kai here. Today we're at the mall at our locals but we're not in the shop because too many people's there and we're filming here. And we're here with Simon and we just finished a couple of weeks after the Remote Duel Battle Royale and what deck were you using? I was using uh, Alcurs, Z Hero, Sentoki. Mishmash. <laughs> Mishmash. So why do you decide to use this deck in the well, first place? Uh, I think that it's a quite, uh, how say, uh, it's a quite trendy uh, deck to play for now because you have a lot of uh, meta decks, right? So you try to play something that is not uh, in their, uh, how say, uh, they are favor to attempt to uh, negate your spell or traps or any monster that you are using. So what I'm thinking is uh, I'm using a uh, deck that mismatch them and doesn't allow them to like stop me in the first attempt. So how do you think that the Banlis hit hard to Orcus? Well, I think it doesn't hit that much because I feel that it still can playable despite that we have a new uh, support which is called the hero which our Phoenix guy, the one that will play in the mid role. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that is the most major point because you are playing this uh, kind of deck because it's very easy to play and very easy to plug and play any deck. One. It's still consistent for Orcus until yes, now, yeah. it, although it's been on the list for like two years, I yeah, think. Two years, two years already. already. Even though it gets chopped like one by one, I think it's still alive until now. Although Girsu 1, Hapora 1, Galatia 1. Yeah. What? Uh, what else? Uh? Girsu, is it? I think Girsu, yes, uh, and yeah. guy, I think that's it. Badly, but still, still survive. Yeah, still. Now. Yes, and without further ado, let's, let's get into the profile. Yeah, so uh, at first I play two Mathematician. Why not three? Why not three? Yeah, because I don't like the ratio of this. <laughs> <laughs> not Konami, no, no. Yeah, because no it's not a favor with your Union Carrier or so, like later on in the extra deck. Then I play this three, Recycle. Yeah, this is a machine, right? So, of course, it's a machine as well. So, it's uh, play a big role on uh, summoning your first attempt using uh, Union Carrier. This is a major key point also if you have a very bad hand. Then followed by a few traps. We have Hunter Mansion, two Rara and two Maxi. Why not three? Well I don't like this all. I will use the cross out actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw them as well. I'm not gonna use on opponent actually. Then uh, for the hero package I play one denier, one dasher and two malicious. Mostly I see people play Dasher or Celestial or these two. Why decided to put four instead? Well, if you know right, you're playing this deck right, I try to make the max potential of it of using twice the infusion instead of once. So you play two Phoenix Sky? No, I just play one. <laughs> <laughs> I have no space for the, for the extra already. And also one button, right? Yeah, so what I do is the first summer will be these two lah. Then followed by these two. When this one is going to return either one of them, then we can switch to summon another one. And even their hand, you still can use yes, this and yes. then return back to, right. use, to do the same thing again. La. Yeah, it will come back again. La. So it's a very good way. La. How many times you break with them? Mm, I think I never break except malicious on my hand, which I'm going to use it as a cost. For, for nightmares? Mm, for nightmare, for phoenix, and for droplet as well. I see. Yeah, so we move on to our next one. The, which is the, the, the main package, yeah, the Orcus package. package. Okay, for Orcus, I'm gonna play one Yasu, one uh, level 1 star, one level 4, two level 3, two level 7, and one Quant. And the next one, which is our Orochi. Yeah, it's Max. I see people play 3, why not max it up? Uh, because uh, I think that. Having three is not a very good because you are mixing. I'm mixing a something which is not purely. So by using two, I think it's very good enough already for me. Because I see some they play the orcus return the spell to draw two. They so they max it out three So yeah. how okay. many? I, for orcus, I only play two types only, which is the field and the orcus return. And lastly is the traps. Only one piece, huh? Yeah, all one piece each. Yeah, I think that's enough to kill the person really la. Unless you're gonna play a drag game, right? Then I think that's the end of you. <laughs> but but they can't drag like it used to be because hard power is still is yeah. already at one la. Yeah. So what I do is try to recycle as much as I can and using uh, the most of the D hero finish guys uh, potential uh, effects to run until I draw a very good game and start to OTK him. Then next I will move to our spell. So we have covered our Orcus already. With the spell and traps. So we move on to our next one, Engage. And engage yeah, and on a bit. On a drone. 
They're followed by our T Hero package, three spell. Limit one, please. No, no. Limit one, please. <laughs> we, lo we lost Dragoon and now we have to deal with this. Yeah. Then I play two droplets, two crossouts, two call by the grave, one polish barrier, and lastly, this is for crossout purpose, not for opponent. How often do you op open this? I think I open often quite a lot of time during my uh, first, second goal because I see a lot of break token, right? So, this is a very good way to start to break their combo. Since you have PK and PK break token around, so I think this is a very good starter to uh, negate all their effects. Then you can run your combo combo without any, uh, say, uh, without any uh, interference on the field. But I think you still can get through your hand traps from them. Lah. That's why this is very important, this too. So as long as you open this and any orcus is, is still yeah, fine can, to combo off? Uh. Yeah, you can just dump them into the grave here, right? They, they have no issue for that. Okay, that's all for the main deck. Uh, how many pieces you play? How many decks? 40. 40? Not, yeah. for, not 41? No, no. Why is this winning number? No. I like 40. I don't like the odd 41, 42, no 43. Okay. For a a extra decks. decks. We play one Link Koribo. Two types of Sento King. One is Fire and one is Earth. Why, why choose this? Well, I think this is a very good question. Uh, because I think that this is just a opening for me just uh, that I'm gonna use it to negate one of the opponent's monster so that they won't attack in the next turn but I think that uh, this is just a precaution yeah precaution for them so another one I'll play is the Anaconda which is used to fusion summon the D hero in case then followed by IP barricade blocker barricade blocker Union carrier and Next one is the Nightmare Package. The, the generic package. Yeah, then followed by this Orcus. And two Jinkyu And access code token for the queue. And lastly, our MVP of the deck. Yes. The, the Dragoon 2.0, but not yeah. as good as Dragoons. Yeah, but I think this is very good like, because, in a way, that he can destroy himself and special summon. And it also can reduce opponent's attack, right? It's very good already. Right? Yes, and with the Galatia, if you play like this, they they can't be can be destroyed by battle, and you can always deal deal the extra pop. Except for just Dingrisu, I usually we just use Dingrisu, right? I use Dingrisu just to send opponent's card. I'm not gonna use so more defense. Ne ne never never use to add material. Ne no, never. no, no, no. I just gonna send opponent during their end turn. With the field on the field, uh, with the field uh, of my game. Else, uh, I think that it's a very, um, how say, uh, very vulnerable uh, if you don't have a counter in your turn. Because I think Galatia will just set your counter, and then you have to uh, use the effect to uh, defend yourself using your Dingo Soul to send any cards that is potentially threatened to hit to her. And then your counter will use during your turn and try to auto kill them. You're not going to drag game any longer. You just yeah, want to not push. Drag it. Just, uh, just want to push for games. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. The longer you push, I think the material will be very fragile already the deck. So next, we'll move to the uh, side deck. Side deck. So f during the battle royale, what is your worst matchup? You think? Worst matchup, I think, is PK Brave Total, and then some of them play uh, Rongo. Frank. Oh, this is my most nightmare. Frank kids? No. Frank kids is not an issue for me. Like. <laughs> Tickets, I Ro still can go. Ban, ban Rongo. Yeah, Ban Rongo. Rongo sucks, man. <laughs> ban yeah, Rongo. Rongo blocked me everywhere. Even though I just Nibiru them, they just... Play just, through Nibiru, yeah, still, still Rongo. Through. Yeah, they still Rongo it. Shit them. <laughs> shit them PK. So for our side, extra deck... Side deck. Eh, sorry, uh, side deck. You play one Valor. Why? Why? Uh? Well, you know right, we have what? We have the MVP cards here. Which have been sent to two, right? So this is the best one. So what I do is I just put it in the side deck with this as well. And also this, two, this one, and that's the this one I'm gonna use for them. Not self-use. No. <laughs> if if, draw, if draw, drawn to hand, still not use. I if draw to hand I see if let's say the PK gonna use their effect, yeah I, of course I'm gonna shit them out right. Yeah. Mostly mostly what do you negate? I negate your Levia. Levian eh? Yeah, Levi there. Not, not not rusty badish. Nah, let him let you say la. <laughs> say whatever you want. I will still kill you. <laughs> you just don't call call the future number and that wrong go then I I will salute you. Okay. And next I will put play this package. Because due to break token a lot, right? Yeah, give give them it that. 
you need to because of your gamma being yeah, limited one, so you some, uh, limit. to negate the spell instead. Yeah, and negate the spell. What more do you what more do you use this for except for brave tokens? Only for only brave. Yeah, sometimes like the eldritch right, they play those pots right. Uh, yeah, just sh just shoot it out. Don't care them. Just shoot it. Just just throw everything you have so you can draw better cards later on. Don't want them to pot draw two for drag even more yeah, longer games. Yeah, because uh. I think the moment they draw the Sky King right, it's a very doomed card lah. You can't <laughs> even start a deck already after that. Yes, yeah, the Sky Prison is yeah. the, it's a god card, yes. Yeah, uh, these two, well, you know, Brave Token right, you're gonna use for the Griffon. Or the bait the Griffon first. Yeah, bait the Griffon. You wanna go back or you wanna give me a summon material? <laughs> Pick one. Then we play this to bait also. And these two as well. For to... for a cross out. Yeah. Gonna shit them man. Yeah, yes, you play a lot of cross out man. Yeah, I play a lot of cross out. That's why cross out been sent to two, right? I think the next one I think will be sent to one, then zero. <laughs> no la, I, I don't think we'll won't zero la because it's still a vulnerable cast for combo decks where like call by the grave in TCG went to one and then cross out now release. It's yeah. still a vulnerable card. Hopefully it still survive for until now. I think I think we'll yeah. Any, anything else you want to change in the side deck or in main deck? I think I'm gonna play a new deck already. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why not Orcus? No, why? Uh, I think everyone already has known the Orcus thing already, right? So I think it's a very big change for you to make a big move instead of staying the same old deck. I think maybe you can find another new deck for it. But it's it's um it's been alive for like two or more years already. Yeah, it's but still alive. It's still viable. It's still a good deck to play. Yeah, it's a good deck to play. But sometimes you have to change it due to the current meta and try to adapt it as much as possible. I think that Brave Token is one of the things that it's a plug in and play game. And yeah, not let, they're not letting you play Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, and the Phoenix <laughs> guy also. I think you're gonna hit also as well. But not now, I think. For now, I think they will abuse it until the Dragon era. <laughs> yes. Alright guys, thank you so much for that y Yuki and Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Anything you wanted to suggest or anything you wanted to ask, just feel free to comment down below. So this is your boy Kai from CRH Kai signing out. Alright guys, thanks, thanks for watching. Bye.